Hello everyone, my name is Ray, and today we're here to play some more Tales of Berseria post-game. Partner Ray, thank you all for joining me for today's episode. Apparently, I did not send anyone out because this is the first time I've played in I don't know how long where we didn't have an expiration at the very beginning of a video. It's kind of depressing now. I think I might just go and uh, hang myself with my thoughts and dreams. But apparently there's no more enemies in this place at all. I actually did a little bit of exploring this place off-screen between videos. And ain't nothing happened, so that's fine. No enemies at all. I don't know why I thought there would be. I didn't think that there would be, like, you know, super bosses or anything like that. Although I am glad that I went and found the last Nordal to come to this place because then that is what allowed us to come back and fight that one Code Red demon that I was never able to fight before. But now that we're here. We are going to check out this lily live. There's a freaking box. What the hell? You just know a big ass demon is going to break out of that thing. That we're going to have to mess it up. That's fine. Um, let's get Eleanor. You want me in? Fine by me. We'll put Eisen in because this has got to do with him directly. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. Wait, what's up with that box? The time has come for judgment and retribution. What the? Did All right. Come out of that box? Who are you? Very well. You ought to know the name of he who consigned you to the flames of hell. Jesus. Um, you were that Norman, right? Phoenix or whatever? No wonder those letters were so full of empty threats and blustery nonsense. Bien! This is bad, bad. The self-styled strongest Norman of all Norman is the mastermind behind all of this. Self-styled? I am the man among men. The strongest Norman of all Norman. I am Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've covered that already. Ooh. So you're the one who wrote all those letters. What's your bone with me? I merely seek to right wrongs. I recently came into possession of a letter from a sister pouring her heart out to her brother. I traced the letter back to its sender and one day paid her a surreptitious visit. There, I found a sweet, innocent girl. Surrounding her were presents from her brother and mountains of letters she couldn't bring herself to send. Letters she couldn't send? Heartfelt letters for her older brother. When I read them, my manly tears fell over the same salty stains left by hers. What the hell is wrong with you? Who reads someone else's letter and then decides to break into their room? I acknowledge that I am partly in the wrong. But for all that is righteous, I cannot condone you. I do this for your sister, clasping her hands in well-worn gloves as she sends prayers for her brother's safety across the wide blue sea. Enough of this nonsense. What is it that you want? That is a question you should be asking of yourself. What do you mean? Just what is it that you're communicating with the superficial scrawlings and shoddy baubles you send her? He's trying to atone. Don't be absurd. Which is the real you? The considerate brother who worries for his sister? Or the man who consorts with low-life scum and pirates? Why can you not at least be honest with her, pirate? She is your sister. Why can you not tell her of the life you've chosen to lead? Do you think her too weak will to forgive your decision? Is that what your beloved sister is to you? I don't have to take this from you. Fine then. Show me your power. You asked for it. Then it's settled. If I win, you will go visit your sister immediately. But if I lose, I will obey your every command. What the hell? Holy shit! <laughs> Level 100 Phoenix! Okay, 128,500. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we need to we need to set up our Earth uh, arts. Good God, I did not expect. I mean, that's that's fine. Didn't expect this. 
Oh my god. Wow, this dude can stun us real quick. Can you stop? I like this guy. <laughs> He's kind of funny. He said, ah! <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. I like this. Oh, could you not? I don't know what he's doing. I don't... Okay. I don't know what he's doing. I don't like it. Get him, damn it. <laughs> Why do I find this guy so funny? How can he just... Oh, okay. How can he just keep getting so big? Where's What's your Mystic Guard, bro? I know you've got to have one, right? <laughs> I'm not even wanting to... Oh my god, put your dick in a bucket. Could you stop? Nobody... Leave Aizen alone. He didn't do anything wrong, although he's kind of ignoring his sister blatantly. And his sister is my favorite character. Uh, uh. His sister is my favorite character in uh, Zestaria, so it kind of pisses me off that he does this to her. Oh my god, can you stop? There we go. Yo, I am a bird. <laughs> This guy is awesome. I don't give a damn. Um, F it. If I die, I die. Can you? There we go. There we go. Bro, you need to calm down with this nonsense. Why is it doing nothing to him? Can we stop? There we go. the hell and so now he's just gonna oh and now he's just gonna dodge everything okay oh he's gone okay never mind I thought when you said you were the strongest no kidding yeah he was actually pretty tough all things considered you picked a fight with the Reaper time to pay the price wait Eisen what are you Thought so. That's why you're called the Phoenix, isn't it? Your blessing has the exact opposite effect as my curse. Hmm. So you finally noticed. So, if Phoenix has that kind of power, then couldn't he protect your sister? I admit defeat. I await your command. I love this dude's voice, too. Why not? I believe we should each steer our own ships through life's waters. I know that the life I've chosen is a selfish one. And I know that it leaves my sister lonely and sad. But it's also the only way I know how to live. <sighs> if I gave you a command, it would be denying something at the very core of my being. So no, I won't do it. Except, yes, if you're able, I want you to use your powers to protect my sister, protect her from demons and malevolence, and from any dragon who may one day attack her. A dragon? Are you serious? This isn't an order. It's just a request. Well then, I accept your request as your friend. But in return, I have something to ask of you. Yeah? I want you to write her another letter. But this time, no hiding what you're truly thinking. I'll wait as long as it takes for you to write it. No need. What? I've been carrying this for so long, I'm afraid it's kind of crushed. My friend, I swear on my honor that this letter will reach your sister, and I promise I will get her to smile once more. After all, I'm the Phoenix. With me, life rises anew from the ashes. I love this guy. I'm counting on you. I absolutely love Phoenix. Then it is time I'm <clears throat> on my way. Come, turtles. At your service. Oh! 
I'll deliver this package myself, even if it costs me my likes. Farewell, friend. That was cool. Phoenix, what a guy. He doesn't back down even when he's lost. I guess. But I liked what he had to say. See? I knew something good would come from this. Yeah. I guess I learned something today. Never give up before you try. Holy crap! I got over a million experience with that. Could you not? Phoenix got said. Provides the ability to trigger a random skill which can revive a code character on normal mode or above. Mini Norman? Uh, hold on. Fashion fool. Where's the Mini Norman? Ha <laughs> ha That works for Eisen. A Norman at your side. You can even hang it upside down. That's cool, man. Since I've again, I've not done the secret game, the secret game, the secret dungeon, and all that in uh, Zestaria, but still, I I didn't expect Phoenix to be in this game. You know what? Actually. I don't how how far along how far ago how far ago how long ago is this game compared to Zestaria? Holy crap! Because his sister Edna is her name. She's my favorite character in Zestaria. She's awesome. Um, she's obviously alive and she's a grown up or you know a teenager or something in this game. Aizen is here and Aizen is in Zestaria as well. Um, Zavid's in this game and Zavid is in Zestaria. Phoenix is in this game, and Phoenix is in Zestaria. I know they're Norman, so they live hella long. But that, that's just the point. How long ago is this game compared to Zestaria? A thousand years? A couple hundred? I have no freaking idea. I should look that up, actually. I probably will. If I remember to, I'll look it up between this game, between this video and the next video. This freaking herb hasn't come back either. Alright. Well, we've only been, we've only been recording for about 13 minutes. Okay. Something is stopping us from using our bombus enough bottle. They're probably um What? Front docks. Something is stopping you from using your So you can't warp here for whatever reason. You have to use the ships. Who's this guy? No, nobody cares. I don't know why that the dude on the left was a little kid. He's so stuffy, as always, that he made me sweat, and I was even hiding. Now that I think about it, neither of you showed your faces when Phoenix was here, did you? Why wouldn't you two want to see a fellow Norman? <sighs> I guess that asks for an explanation. All right, I think I can tell you now anyway. Broadly speaking, Norman fall into two different categories. Dog Norman and Cat Norman. The ones who like to be around humans, like Phoenix, are your dog types. The ones who prefer to stick around objects and places are the cat types. I've heard people say that dogs get attached to the human, and cats get attached to the home. So, since Mogilu's relied on you a lot over the years, does that make you a dog, Norman? No, not really. My powers actually work with Miss Mogilu's guardians, not Miss Mogilu herself. That makes me a cat. Actually, considering how I serve a witch, I'd be a cat type either way. Anyway, back on topic. Dog Norman like to live among lots of humans in comfort and style. Cat Norman like me and Grimoire would rather live in forests and ruins and pass our time in idle leisure. Some, ourselves included, don't conform with expectations. Instead, choosing to live as we please alongside humans. What does this have to do with wanting to avoid Phoenix? There's a gap between us that can't be bridged. Like the difference between sky blue and sea blue. Come on, aren't sky blue and sea blue basically the same color? Maybe to your untrained eye, but to those who care, there's a perceptible difference in hue, slight though it might be. Whatever it is that separates them is impossible to overcome. I didn't realize it could be such a big deal. 
Let me ask you guys this. Are pudding and custard the same? No, definitely not. If I ordered one, I wouldn't want to be served the other. Those still sound more or less the same to me, too. Hmm. What if I said it was like the difference between sherbet and sorbet? Oh, yeah, there is a difference there. Although I usually can't remember which is which. So, like the difference between a hoagie and a sub sandwich? But those two are the same. Anyway, you get the point now, surely. We've long had our differences, and they put us in perpetual conflict. But what good does that do? Actually, on that note, is Ivan's sister going to be okay with Phoenix around? That much I wouldn't worry about. He can be obnoxiously brash and talks a lot of nonsense sometimes. But if nothing else, Phoenix has a strong sense of responsibility. Rest assured, she's in good hands. Although if you work him too hard, he'll start making speeches about uprisings and insurrections and all that stuff. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> if you if you've played uh, Zisteria, you'd probably get that. Um, there's there's a there's a part in Zisteria where all the Norman basically are telling you at one point that um, there was one Norman in particular. They never say the name though. One Norman in particular got tired of all the Normans being used to help them because in that game, Normans actually are kind of like your partners. I don't know why I'm using the goddamn ship. I really don't know why I'm using the ship. But, um... Yeah, no, the, uh... The Norman actually help you out in that game. They give you extra stats, skills, boosts, and power, whatever. And there was a particular Norman they never mentioned by name who got tired of the shit and was like, no, we're rising up. We are going to have an uprising and we're going to go against the insurrection. And even though they never said who he was, uh, I know Phoenix is in that game. I've never fought him. I think he's a boss in there, too. But uh, before this episode ends, we're going to go to a certain individual in this town, that exclamation point. We're going to try and get to that. Honestly, I'm not sure how to get to that spot, though. I used to know. Hell, I practiced so I would know how to get there, and then I totally forgot. I think I'm headed in the right direction, though. I am not headed in the right direction. Moving on. Oh, God. Dick's on the wall. Uh, is it... I have no freaking idea. I'm not even going to act like it, so I'm just going to run around like a jack wagon until I find it, okay? Okay, there it is. This is how you get up there. Once you serve, once you serve, once you save a certain amount of cats, you'll get an invitation. I will show you. I actually got this off screen, and I kind of wish I didn't. How the hell is this an item? Oh, they're notes. Notes about eyewitness reports on Terror Island. With these landing there should be no problem. That's not really... What? Just because you know where it is doesn't mean squat. The whole island moves constantly. At least that's what we were told. An invitation from Cats. It says, I want to see Mew in television. Uh huh. Who wrote it? Phoenix wrote it, fool. We already know this. Do it. Hold on. I'm not going to talk to you just yet. I'll open this up because I've not done so just yet. Give me the light bottle that I'm going to throw away. Talk to the cats! Meow, 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 meow! Your attention, please, for an important announcement. To commemorate all your hard work saving my friends, I'd like to invite you to come to Cat's Corner. Whoa, Cat's Corner! Awesome! But we don't have any business there. Now hold on. Cat's Corner is a sort of phantom place that's never been plotted on any map before. And we'll have the chance to explore it. If it's home to a lot of cats, I kind of want to see it for myself. Denied. It's a waste of our time. Oh, come on, Velvet. Quit being such a killjoy. Cat's Corner is like an exclusive members-only club. Nobody but nobody would turn down an invitation. Exactly. You should be grateful for this opportunity. There they go. It is a new experience. Besides, aren't you even a little bit curious? I can't believe this. You guys are starting to sound more casual than the cats now. Well, if you ever feel like visiting Cat's Corner, 
Just say the word, you know. So send me to the freaking corner, bro. Send me there. I'd never have guessed a place like this existed. What an adorable little hamlet. You can feel your motivation to get stuff done just floating away. And look at all the cats! It's so peaceful here. Kinda makes me want to sit down for a big feast. Look, over there. Is that the cat's pajamas? I've heard stories. <laughs> Are you allergic to cats? That's why I didn't want to come here. Are you gonna be okay, Velvet? Of course, it's not. I don't get it. These aren't actual cats, though. Damn it. Yo, Dreamlike Paradise. This place is so freaking weird. The Pop Pro Wrestling BNA World Captain Cup Tabbyweight title match is tonight, meow. The rules are simple. The contestants need each other with their paws. The first to make a sound loses or meows out. So, is there like a countdown or something? Yup. A per count starts when one fighter starts purring. Purr for three seconds and you're out, meow. Are there any illegal moves? Grabbing the back of the neck and nibbling are both forbidden and incur heavy penalties. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to try it myself. There's going to be an Anything Goes division in the next Agarte Cup. Any race can participate. Just put on a pair of cat ears and you're in, meow. What the hell? What you doing back here? Rats, you found me. You must be something special if you saw through my t No. You're literally just sitting out in the open, fool. What the hell? Alright. 765. Adamantine fragment. Oh, that's good. I've got fervor for adventure. I travel the world to reclaim hidden treasures, meow. The hell is that in the river? You a cat burglar? Big words coming from a pirate, meow. You guys pilfer and pillage anything you can get your paws on. You prattle on about how romantic your life on the sea is, but you're just a bunch of ruffians. I... I'm sorry. Good. As long as you know where we stand, meow. I've got my own ship, and wait till you hear what I named it. It'll make your whiskers spin. I call her Von Meowtia of my youth. What the hell is going on? Give me this herb, whatever it is. You can listen to past conversations with this, this device that still ask you how it works. It's meowgic. What? Alright, get out of here with this crap. Look, an unidentified flying table. I just had to shout it out. You meow? The hell? Oh, so those are just... The, oh, okay. Well, whatever. Waste of time. It's the cat's corner. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Cats can have different dialects depending on where they were raised, meow. I'm from a small hamlet in the Nyagoya area. What's unique about your dialect? Sorry. What? I have no idea what you just said. I said this fried shrimp is amazing. Cool, huh? Wow. So how do you say brother in your dialect? Mior. Sister? Mior. Mother? Mior. They all sound the same to me. Can cats where you're from tell the difference? Of course. It's all about the nuance. I think it's a bit too much to wrap my head around. Oh, yeah. What about father? Father is father. Huh? That one's normal. Meow insulting! No, baby, did you teeth me when you made you know? I'm sorry. <coughs> I'll forgive you. That's very kind of you. But the proper way to apologize in Nyagoya dialect is you don't wait for your opinion. <laughs> what? What the hell did you just say? I I don't get it at all. I think uh, this is free, isn't it? Oh, it's a hundred. Whatever. I have no freaking idea what the cat is talking about. 
Jesus Christ, that literally made my eyes water. I, I, uh, I just, I don't care. Okay. But that was the shop. Isn't there a shop in here? Yo. Oh, don't tell me I have the hiccups now. I thought there was something else we could do here. Apple job because why not? Damn, y'all just sell elixirs here? Oh. Well, he's already got that. I don't think she's got an adamantine spear yet. Pass that. Hello? That works too. Topaz Talisman. Probably shouldn't mess all this crap. If nothing else, it's a good idea to buy a good amount of this crap just so I can, uh... Wait. Yeah, buy all that crap. I thought there was... Apparently not. Doesn't matter. Hold on. Shut up. Dismantle or go to, go to the. Me throw a fragment. All right, I'm not gonna mess with that. Yo, this place is awesome, and I don't. I still. I'm still tripping over that cat. But you know what? This is a good place to end it. Look at that weird ass sky and all these creepy whatever's going on. Just listen to the music for a second. But anyway, I would love to continue this, but uh, I gotta go take a nap because I'm tired. So. Thank you all for watching as always. My name is Ray, and I will see you all next time for part number nine of the Tales of Berseria post game. But until then, goodbye, everybody.